turns out, putting your microphone on top of your dressmaker's dummy that's only a metre away from you does not give you adequate audio for the video, so you have to deal with voice over me translating what I said in this intro part. I'm going to show you, as you read by the title, how to DIY your own clock, and as you can see it's the one to, well, your left but my right, and it's that one. Um, I'm going to show you how to make one similar to that, or this one exactly. And I hope that you do enjoy, and let's get into the tutorial, shall we? Cool, yeah, okay, yeah. So, to start off with, I needed a picture. So I typed in supernatural wallpaper, because I thought that's a good way to get a nice picture that I want. And then I got sidetracked by this picture of Cass, and I then got even more sidetracked. And I wanted to listen to a song, because it came to my mind. So I obviously had to put that on before doing anything else, um, for, you know, obvious reasons, I feel. But I ended up finding a couple of pictures that I really like the look of. I didn't really have any specifics for the pictures that I found. I knew that I wanted to have definitely Sandine and Cass in, um, with the possibility of having Jack in, but it wasn't necessarily a either or with him but I knew I definitely wanted these three but when I had all the pictures that I liked I put them all into a um, PowerPoint document and I cropped them all into a circle because I knew that that's a shape that I'd want my clock to be in so this helped give me a good understanding of what would be in the picture when it was printed out I went through looked at each one made it bigger to see how it would look when it was printed out as well rather than when it was smaller and I couldn't decide for a long time between these two because I thought that they'd look really nice, um, both of them. But I ultimately um, decided this one. Uh, I've seen this one online quite online quite a lot, and I just I really like it. Um, I think it's a really nice picture of the three of them. But having said that, I did print off the one below because I thought then if there's anything that I want to try out, I can try it out on that one rather than on the one that I definitely want. And I'm really glad that I did because I did actually experiment. Here I've got three pieces of cardboard and I'm just print sticking them together. Literally just one layer print stick, one layer print stick, and then the third layer on top. Here I'm mapping out vaguely where the picture will go on top of those three and I'm stapling the three of them together vaguely where it will then fall on top. And then once again using glue, print sticking it and just covering it in glue and then putting it over where the staples are on top of the cardboard with the pointy bits sticking away from the picture so that they don't come through the picture on the clock face. I then struggle a lot with starting to cut out the clock and I then decide that this is too difficult and I get very very sidelined and I am so sorry about what is happening. If you ever watch this um, I'm, I just, I apologise for what, I, I, I didn't think about this through, but make a hole in the middle of your clock, and I pushed a pen through, again, I'm sorry, push a pen through to make it big enough for the clock piece to actually fit through, so that you're able to put the hands on, and then I stopped being distracted, and cut around the clock face, and then I neatened up the hole that I had made, once it was big enough, and then I put the back of the clock through it so that the bit with the handle was on and then once I was actually able to pick up the um, doohickey from my lap tray and put it on I then screwed it on and you now can't see the fact that I brutally mutilated this poor man and which is great I then also found out the hard way that you can't apparently just throw on the three hands of a clock and you have to actually put them on individually and clip them into place. I did not realise this when I first did it and I wondered why they all wiggled. I then cut the ends because they were too big for the clock so I cut them in a slight diagonal so they were pointed rather than just straight across because I thought it was more aesthetically pleasing and I'm really glad that I did because I think it looks so much nicer. I then found a nice spot on my wall for where I can put the clock and I picked up the hammer and I never actually used the hammer, uh, I think it was just for aesthetic reasons. And this is this is the clock now. I'm really happy with how it turned out, I think it's super cool. 
really really nice um and yeah i hope that you enjoyed this video and yeah uh like subscribe because it's all free i'll see you in the next one bye Never mind, don't waste your time on coffins today. Don't you see that body spot and death and legend fall of your and dying of anticipation, choking from intoxication. Don't you see that body spot and death and legend fall of your dying of anticipation, choking from intoxication.